Yo, yo, welcome back to Mike's Money Muscles. Now, in this video, I'm gonna teach you the exercises and a workout routine in order to progress into the tucked planche. Now, doing a planche places a lot of stress on your wrists. So it's very important that before you do the workout routine, that you strengthen your wrists and make sure that they're nice and warm. So if you haven't already, pause this video, go check out my wrist mobility and flexibility video, and then come back to this video for the workout routine. Now that your wrists are nice and warm, let's get into the routine. So before you get into planche training, you want to know how to position your scapula. So you want to have your shoulders protracted, which is pushed forward like I'm showing here. And you also want to have your shoulders depressed which is pushing them down. Next you want to look at hand position and there's three main positions that people use. The first is with your fingers facing forwards. The second is turning your hands out at about 45 degree angle. And the last is having your fingers facing backwards. And my personal preference is having my fingers facing outwards at about 45 degree angles. But this is just personal preference so find what works for you and stick with that. Now the first exercise we're going to be doing is the planche lean. And I like to use a measuring tape against a wall so that you can track your progress and slowly move your hands further and further away from the wall every workout. Now to perform this exercise, you want to keep your arms straight and face your elbow pits forwards. And then maintaining the proper scapular position you want to try lean forward as far as you can and hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. If you can't hold that for 10 to 15 seconds, it simply just means that your hands are too far away from the wall. So bring them a bit closer and work on that first. The next exercise is a pseudo push-up. So you want to get into a push-up position and then once again, while you're externally rotating your shoulders so that your elbow pits face forwards, and maintaining proper scapular position, you want to lean forwards and then perform a push-up. And I like to do five to 10 reps of this before having a rest. It's important not to do planche training to failure because it places a lot of stress on your wrist, elbow and shoulder joints. And you want to allow time for your connective tissue to fully recover in order to prevent injury. The last exercise is a hyperextension on a bench, which will target your lower back. Now to perform this exercise, you want to have your upper body on the bench with your stomach facing down. And then start with your knees as close to the bench as you can. And then you want to extend your legs so that your body forms a straight line from head to toe before bringing your knees back close to the bench again. Now, when this position gets too easy for you, I like to simply get into the extended position with my head and toes in a straight line and then simply open my legs so I'm in a straddle position and then close them again and do this for reps. Now for the sets and reps for the workout, what I recommend is five to six sets of 10 to 15 seconds for the planche leans with 90 seconds rest in between. Then do five to six sets of five to 10 reps of pseudo push-ups with 90 seconds rest in between. And then finally, for the hyper extensions on the bench, I like to do a minute on, a minute off for five to six sets. So that's my workout routine in order to get a tucked punch. And I recommend doing this workout two to three times per week making sure to have at least a day rest in between workouts. I hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see more videos in the future. And also give this video a massive thumbs up. I'll see you next time.